It's an interesting question that I had come up today that I thought would be a good opportunity to demonstrate. Um, one of the relatively newer functions in MarkEdit is the ability to generate uh, cutters uh, for call numbers. Uh, while MarkEdit has always had, or at least for a very long time, has had the ability to generate cutters, uh, call numbers for materials using OCLC's classify service, a tool that can be found uh, from the main window um, and selecting generate call numbers with the ability to um, insert records into all tools, generate specific classifications, capture subject headings, as well as make um, specific options, um, as well as uh, follow a specific set of options, such as calculating cutters and dates, appending flags to dates, and, and having specific exceptions. Um, the new tool allows you users who have um, call numbers who have, that have been generated, specific call number stubs, the ability to generate cutters to go with them. So uh, let me give you an example. So I have a, a set of records here. This record is, um, I'll go ahead and pull the record from WorldCat. It is a record that has, um, let's pull this down. This record has an 050. That includes two subfield A's, um, one here and one here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this record up. I'm going to create an 090 out of the second subfield A, and then I'm going to generate a cutter and explain kind of how the current cuttering tool works, um, and maybe some enhancements that I'm going to work on along the way. So the current tool, let's go ahead and split the record. So to split this, I would use a general regular expression. So we'll go ahead and capture the 050 to the subfield A, all the subfield A data afterwards, and then we're going to capture the second subfield A and the data following behind it. And we're going to put that record into an 050, a new field, and then into an 090. We'll go ahead and use a regular expression and replace the data. And you'll see that the 090 subfield A has been moved and split the record. So you'll also see that it's been put below the 050. If you need to sort the data into um, sort order, there's these uh, sort tools here with the markup. I'm not going to worry about it. So I have my own I know. Now I need to generate a cutter. Now MarkEdit has a couple of ways you can generate cutters. One would be um, using the catalog uh, calculator cuttering tool. So cuttering tools, uh, catalog and calculator, uh, that would be something where you would select, start typing in um, either the, the data you want to cutter from and it would start giving you suggestions for cutters. Um, the other tool that is available in MarkEdit is the generate cutters tool and this is actually an automated tool. And it uses order of preference, so it's going to start with the 1xx fields, and then it's going to go to the 2xx fields, and it's going to generate the cutters appropriately. So in this particular record, there's a 100 field, so it's going to cutter on the lesson. Um, so I will go ahead and run this. So I'll click Generate Cutters. Um, it asks me which field and am I going to be creating a cutter for. Um, I'm going to tell it the 090, and I'm going to go ahead and tell it OK. And you'll see that it's generated a cutter using the 100 field and pulled um, the data information from um, either the uh, 260, 264, or the 008. Um, order of preference uh, starts with the 008 and it falls down through to the 02, um, the 260 subfield C, then the 264 subfield C. Um, and it generates cutters appropriately. Uh, now I know that um, for some records, and this actually could be one of them, um, because it's uh, a, uh, a children's book, uh, you may want to cutter on the title. Well, currently MarkEdit uses um, order of preference to generate cutters. Uh, I could see somewhere in the near future um, the ability to be able to tell MarkEdit to break out of that order of preference, uh, order of operations, and select a specific field. Um, for cuttering, so maybe I would like the order of operations to be uh, title than author. Um, that's not there right now, but like I said, I could see somewhere in the future uh, maybe developing uh, that functionality. But for now, um, there is a uh, there is a way to to do um, cutter generation, and uh, this would be the the way to do it. If you have questions um, or uh, have a feedback on the tool, or would like to um, make a uh, uh, suggestion of, of enhancements, uh, feel free to let me know. Thank you.